This is Tammy Bradford, and I am so excited to be here with national figure competitor Christine Jones at Olympic Fitness Club in Port Orchard, Washington. We have quite the event going on this weekend. A lot of fitness women and a few of the men showing you how it's done in the gym. And we thank Olymp Olympic Fitness Club for letting us come in and do this. It's been an awesome experience. You have been here for two days already. Tell us a little bit about your journey to get here, where you're from, and what you've been doing. Well, I live in the Mill Creek area, and I've run into a lot of people that I know because I'm part of that community. And I actually have been part of the Pacific Northwest fitness community for a long time, even though I quit competing for a while. So I got to run into a lot of the people that I know and got to take some selfies with them. And, and I, it's just the accommodation has been incredible. This is a great gym. Um, I love Port Orchard. Olympic Fitness Club is just the, the equipment, the staff is very accommodating. I've had a great time so far. It's still going. Everybody is super, super friendly here. Everybody that works in the gym, all the people that are here to work out, get their fitness on, and all the women that have come to participate. It's just been an incredible group of people. Yeah. Now, you said that you had competed quite some years ago yeah. and are getting back into it. Right. Tell us a little bit about how you started, okay. why you stopped, and how you ended up back in the fitness industry. Oh, thank you for asking. I actually had been working out consistently for 20 plus years. So it's a part of my life. It's, um, you know, I, it's like taking a shower for me. I, the gym is my reprieve. I love it. Um, it's always happy to see me. Never in a bad mood. And I, I, love, I love being a girl and I love weights. So that, that's, that kind of defines me. I competed in, in the early 2000s, and I was married at the time. So I competed in figure, and um, I, you know, I got uh, runner-up at the Ironman way back then, and I had, my kids were little, and you know, I don't want to launch too much into my personal, what was going on with my personal situation, but it was just more, uh, it just wasn't conducive at the time for me to compete. So kids got bigger, things happened. Um, uh, my kid's dad is remarried and, and we're both off onto different ventures now and I decided in, in 2013 I was actually, uh, the people around me were like, you need to compete again. Get back up there. So I did the Washington State Championships in 2013 and I had a great time there. It's a great show. Um, and I, I won my class there and uh, I decided that I wanted to continue to compete. I did the Emerald Cup, and I was actually due to do nationals at the end of this month, which is November 2014. And because of things that have happened, I've decided, I've talked to some judges and some people, and um, I, I'm, I'm definitely going to, uh, to compete again soon, perhaps next year, and I'll fill you in on that. I'm gonna to talk to some people about my program, because I've, you know, everything's not perfect. <laughs> <laughs> we want to see it and we know and appreciate that you can let us know that life happens and that it doesn't always go perfect and according to how you would like it to oh, go gosh, no. uh -uh. not for anybody I don't I don't think that you know if you have a passion to work out or compete or, or whatever it is that you're excited about you need to just do it you need to just make it happen that that's what's happening for me I have my own challenges with my things changing in my life with my training, with my diet. I've worked with you know two or three different coaches. And um, I, I personally struggle with being disciplined with my diet because I'm actually genetically very thin. And I have this weird thing that I'm gonna lose muscle. And uh, you know, I, I, it, it's, it's just a, an admission I'm gonna make. So I, I, need, I, think I can design a program for myself or for anybody really, but having the accountability is huge. So I think I might go back to, um, I self-coached for my last show. I looked pretty good, could have come in a lot tighter, did well regardless, but yeah, I'm, I'm gonna get with somebody that can crack the whip on me. I need it. I think we all do. We Definitely all do, me. and it's and it's nice, to, I think, to have that self-awareness so you can say, hey, this is where I am, this is what I struggle with, this is where I need somebody to keep me accountable and where I need to make improvements. And I, I appreciate you sharing that because I think there are a lot of women that oh, yeah. share that same type of challenge. I myself am also a smaller person. I've always been thin, I have a high metabolism, have a hard time putting on muscle. So I too will say, hey, that extra cheeseburger is not gonna hurt me too much, but 
yeah. those kinds of things do affect your your training and your prep for a show so hey we are all human though you yeah. know and that's what Even other women need to say don't compete though if you're just a woman or a guy if you're just somebody that has a goal having someone a partner or someone that, that that you can be accountable to you can be very very knowledgeable and it's a whole different part of your brain it, people you know people can say I could put together a program for you it's really about me being in the right place here um, I worked with construction zone I'll just uh, Pete Grubbs actually got me ready for the Washington State where I did really well and that's what what he said to me he said your biggest problem is this it's not that you don't know what to do it, it's it's not your training it's you know being on the money in the zone and so even if you just want to lose weight just join a gym Whatever it is you want to do, having um, someone, a partner or a coach, seek out a trainer that can keep you accountable. Join a gym or find a sport or an activity, anything that helps to improve your lifestyle that you feel inspired to do. Because it's different for all of us. Oh, yeah. I, not everybody's, you know, people will say, what should I do for whatever, my, my butt or my triceps. If you're not active right now, do something that you love to do. Do something that makes you happy. Start there, do yoga, you know, do cardio, run Pilates. If you like it, you'll continue to do it. It's not supposed to be a punishment. It's something you do for yourself. This is, you know, this is the only body you're ever gonna have. You can't trade it in. You can't get a, get a new one. This is it till you die. So take care of it in a way that makes you happy. Take care of those bodies, be happy, <laughs> find I'm, something I'm, that you I'm love. Weights, but you don't have to be, weight, weight training, you know, preserves bone density. It, it just, I, it, it, you can change the shape of your body with weight training. So I'm a huge fan of it. I think that people should incorporate a little bit of resistance training for their health. Um, because you'll start losing muscle in your early 20s if you're not doing something actively to preserve it, let alone having extra. So a lot of people are worried about that. I don't want to get muscular, but you're going to lose what you have. It's a so. good point to make. It's not necessarily about being a bodybuilder per se, but just about maintaining that healthy physique. And, and that is definitely important. And who doesn't want the benefits like beautiful Christine here? I'm just saying. Thank you. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I'm, not, I'm not quite in show shape right now, but I, I will say, you know, having children and having my 40th birthday come and go, I, that's the one thing I would not change. I, I will say that I, the weight training has been very good to me. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, don't take that away. It's been there for me. It's going to continue to be there for me. And, so. and even though you may not be in contest shape, as you say, you still look amazing you look healthy and fit and, and it is good people for people to know oh, yeah. that competitors have an off season a time to to build to recover from those competition seasons that are intense your body's depleted you're going through a, a different process and it's okay to put those pounds on and to look a little fuller and you still oh, look yeah. beautiful yeah i i'm not um, interested in sacrificing my health. There's a lot of talk about how unhealthy it is to compete. That's a very temporary period of time that you do, you know, water manipulation or, you know, uh, pay exact attention to your, to your carbs in a way that puts your body in condition that you're, you're extremely lean or extremely ripped. And genetics play a big role. Some people just don't carry a lot of body fat. And muscle, muscle burns calories 24 hours a day. So if you have muscle on your body, you've got an engine going all the time, you will stay leaner year round if you lift weights. This woman knows what she's talking about. And we're gonna be bringing you more from Christine Jones from our Olympic Fitness Club shoot. She's done some little photo shoot action. We're gonna be bringing you some photos and video. Now, Christine, where can people find you on social media if they wanna see all those fabulous pictures? Well, I have um, my Facebook page, which is Christine Jones. My name is CH, Christine Jones, figure competitor. I also have a website, um, fitnessobsession.com. That is not just, it's, it, that's a fitness website, but you can find information about me and people that I'm a fan of, whether they are pros or just people that I'm a fan of. If people go after their dreams, I'm, I, I will get on board with them if they're in my circle and be a big cheerleader to help them get where they're going information about contests. I just started that website actually recently. I've owned it for a long time, but I relaunched it like, oh, a few months ago. But that's where you can find information about me and a lot of the people that I'm a fan of. And this event, I'll put that on there too. But. 
Thank you so awesome. much. Awesome. This has been fun. Yeah. And we're going to be bringing you more. We've got Rob Sims here to get some awesome photos of this hot woman right here. And I also have to say that I am a fan of Gen X Labs and their products. They have provided some samples, some prizes for the people who are coming into the gym to participate in this event this weekend. We love Gen X Labs. We love what they stand for. They're all about empowering women. Muscles are sexy right there. Empowering women specifically, but empowering individuals of all ages to become fit and develop a healthy lifestyle. And you can find out more about Gen X Labs, their products, their team, and everything that they stand for on genxlabs.net. So be sure to check them out there. This is Tammy Bradford signing out from Olympic Fitness Club.